I want to take this time to thank all of you for helping us discuss these really important issues with parents and teachers and caregivers because adults really need to do their part to stop bullying now. If you could give us just one final key message so that parents and teachers and caregivers could have a better understanding of what they can do to empower their children so that we can combat this bullying crisis. I think education is really crucial. Education for adults in particular, parents and teachers and members of the community need to better recognize what bullying behaviors are and the various ways in which bullying can be displayed among young children. If we can recognize what bullying is, then we can effectively stop it and prevent it. Well, I think that it's very important to underscore that starting early, when we're talking about prevention, starting early is very important so that we have an opportunity to help children learn pro-social skills and they learn that those positive skills can can actually get them the, the things that they need. What's of great concern is sometimes kids that are witnessing bullying start to feel anxiety or concern that they might be targeted next, potentially even guilt that they didn't intervene or they didn't do the right thing. So what we want to do is talk to children about different roles that they play in this. Well, I, I think that parents really should take advantage of all the tools around them to really begin to uh, uh, help themselves become better um, interventionists on behalf of their children and pediatricians and, and child health professionals who care for their kids are an important part of that armamentarium and I would just encourage parents to use their pediatricians as, uh, as part of the solution and, and lean on them. We adults are really wonderful at giving advice but sometimes we forget to check in with the children to find out if our advice is actually working. And so we need to ask questions to make sure that the bullying isn't continuing. And if our advice is not working, we need to come up with more effective strategies to help these kids. Thanks again to all of my panelists. You've been wonderful and I think very informative and very helpful to parents, teachers, and caregivers. And I want to give a special thanks to Big Bird for sharing your story with us today. Jay and Rosita, you've all been very helpful. I know children are going to be watching and learning so much from this story. Hey, who wants to be part of the Happy to Be Me Club? I do! <laughs> Thank you for watching the discussion today. And remember to tune into Sesame Street every day on PBS Kids. And for more information, go to www.sesamestreet.org backslash bullying. <laughs>